All right, guys, I had the opportunity to spend some great quality time here with this uh, beautiful Motorola Droid Turbo 2. I guess I can say we had a date together. Really, really good time spending with this phone. I can tell you right now, guys, uh, this is a huge, huge improvement in comparison to the uh, first Droid Turbo. I would say mostly on the outside. Yes, it has a faster processor, it has a better front facing camera, but for me, I have to say the most impressive thing is the physical design. Even though I find this phone a little bit thick uh, for my taste, uh, the overall look design that they put on the outside, it looks way, way more premium, better quality than the first one. As you guys remember, the first one, uh, they advertised the Kevlar uh, material, it kind of feels like plastic. It's a hard, hard material, uh, and it can take a serious beat up, but it feels plastic. It looks plastic. This is all metal on the outside, around the phone, and on the back. But let's talk about some of the specs here. So we have a 5.4 inch screen size. That's a weird number. Usually you look at a 5.1, 5.2, and then it jumps to a 5.5 or 5.7, but this is a 5.4. Uh, 2K Quad HD display, as you guys can see, the uh, screen looks uh, beautiful. 21 megapixel rear camera, uh, 3 gig of RAM, 3760 milliamp battery, front facing camera, now it's new with 5 megapixel. And uh, we get flash, flash from the front, fa front facing camera, I'm sorry. In comparison to the uh, first model, it was a 2 megapixel front facing camera, no flash. Take a look at that little cool uh, widget there for the uh, clock, the time. Uh, you can expand it and it gives you information of the weather, gives you information of the battery. Uh, now, take a look at the camera here. With one shake, you can go ahead and open the camera. There is the uh, front facing camera and take a look at that flash. Flash for the front facing camera. Uh, it takes very good selfies. I'll be honest with you, the, the pictures are really, really clear. And speaking of pictures, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, camera interface. Uh, you can actually adjust the uh, brightness of your uh, pictures or the uh, screen by moving this uh, little thing around from one side to another. Uh, you can select the focus area by moving also the uh, focus from one side to another. Uh, you can start video, you can tap to take pictures while you are recording, you can pause the video and then you can stop the video. Now, the one thing I will say about the camera, and I'm gonna be re very honest with you guys, my choice, take a look at that beautiful uh, selfie picture. My choice for phone, because see, the camera, the pictures, and the video matters a lot to me, I will go with a Samsung. Uh, to me, that's the best right now. Uh, but that's me, you know, if you don't, if you, the, the camera or the pictures don't matter so much to you, this is a really, really good phone. Now, don't get me wrong, it takes really good pictures uh, and it takes, I will say, very good video, not excellent video. And the reason why I say that is because you can move around the focus, change the focus area for pictures, but for video, there is no such option. Uh, with the Samsung phones, you can do that. Same thing with the LG phones. So that's why for me, video recording on this phone wasn't not like my thing, anything favorite. Uh, but overall, it takes uh, pretty decent pictures and video. Uh, front facing pictures are really nice and clear. We're gonna take a look at some samples. Uh, but overall, the settings of the camera are very limited. Uh, there are not too many options. And if you would like to control a lot of the things from the camera manually, there is no option for that. Uh, but let's uh, take a look here at the uh, gallery. Here's the gallery interface. I'm gonna look at some uh, sample pictures. You can rearrange how the gallery looks like uh, by albums, uh, highlights, folders, so on and so on. Uh, while we take a look at some samples here, uh, just before I forget to recap, uh, the uh, operating system is Android Lollipop. It will be upgraded to Marshmallow. Uh, processor this time is an octa core with a 1.5 gigahertz and a quad, uh, quad core and a two gigahertz quad core. Go 
comparison, in comparison to the uh, previous model, it was a quad core. This is octa core. Take a look at that beautiful picture. Look at the colors. Looks absolutely amazing. That was taken with the rear camera. This one was taken with the rear camera too. Uh, colors are super, super nice. A uh, very clear, very good detail. I didn't get. There wasn't a single picture that I took with this phone that, that came out like blurry or anything like that. Here's a sample video. Uh, it does a pretty good job focusing, but like I said, if you want to do it manually, it, there's no option for that. Uh, that's a video recorded with the front facing camera. That's another picture recorded or taken with the front facing. Here's a picture with the rear camera. It looks uh, really clear. So like I said guys, uh, octa-core processor, uh, micro SD card, the phone, the phone supports a micro SD card up to 200 gigabytes. Uh, it comes in a 32 or 64 gigabyte of uh, internal storage, 3 gig of RAM. And last but not least, I think I already mentioned it, the uh, battery, 3760. Now we're looking here at the uh, browsing experience, uh, Google Chrome. It opens the pages are pretty quick. The text looks super clear because of the uh, 2K Quad HD display. Uh, the colors are super nice with the AMOLED technology. Now, one thing to mention, as you guys can see, I was closing some of the recent apps. For, so, for some reason, I don't know why, these phones uh, don't offer the option to do multi-window. And here's a look at the uh, gallery receiving a phone call. And also, I wanna show you guys, uh, take a look at this. So this is the uh, video calling option. Uh, with the video calling option, you can call another phone with the same uh, option or uh, application installed on the other phone, video calling. Uh, you can do video uh, with the front-facing camera and rear camera. And you can switch between rear or front-facing camera. So if I'm, say, say I'm calling somebody and I'm showing the uh, rear camera, I can switch it and the person can see me or I can switch it back and the person can see what I'm showing with my rear camera. This is a really, really cool feature here. Uh, I don't know if every carrier offer this for sure, Verizon, and obviously this phone is exclusive with Verizon. Uh, here's the option to do uh, the uh, waving your hand over uh, the phone in order to activate notifications, which is uh, really cool. This is something uh, kind of like unique from these uh, phones. Uh, if you swipe up or down, it shows you what notification you have available if you have more than one. And if you swipe from the side side to side, uh, it gives you like a little preview of the notification. Take a look at this uh, amazing performance here, playing some of my high graphic games. Uh, no complaint, guys. Uh, no complaints at all with the uh, performance. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, the phone uh, showed no lag or anything like that. Really nice graphics. Uh, I have to tell you, the sound from the speaker, not so good, not so good. Uh, there's only one speaker. A lot of people think that it comes with two speakers because it has two, uh, it looks like two speakers on the bottom, but there's only one speaker. So the sound is okay. Now, the one thing I love about this phone, as you guys can see, it supports uh, the uh, turbo power supply. This thing outputs 20, 25 watts. And I had the opportunity to drain the battery. Uh, I think I got like 10 hours and 43 minutes of screen time on playing YouTube videos all day. Well, now I am charging here the battery from zero to 100%. This thing flies. I got... Um, to 100% in one hour and 24 minutes. So, so when it comes to the uh, rapid charging technology, I have to say this phone is actually faster now than the Note 5. So there it is, my friends. Uh, that's all I have for right now here with the new Droid Turbo 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and I highly recommend this phone.